Hey guys, welcome back. So today's Chit Chatter Day, I have a rather large haul. <laughs> and I wanted to do a haul in review because this is a collective haul. I've collect been collecting these things for a few months now. And so I wanted to be able to share with you what I bought. But not only like, hey, I bought this because that's cool, but my thoughts on it, my opinion on it, because I've used everything that I'm going to show you. I've been using it so I can tell you my thoughts on it. And so because it's quite a bit of products. Um, my husband's been doing some shopping. It's kind of like my tax return haul, I guess you could call it. Um, I am going to have to split this up into two videos, so I'm going to just kind of cut it off when it's probably around like the 20 minute mark or so, so that you can watch the second half if you don't have time to watch a big long video. So I'll just upload that one um, at the same time, so you'll be able to watch part one, and then if you can't finish, then you can go back and watch part two, vice versa, whatever. Um, Okay, so without further ado, let's get into this. Oh, if you are new and you just kind of stumbled upon my channel, please subscribe. I would love to have you here. And as always, if you enjoy yourself, thumbs up this video. It helps me out a lot. Um, and I know you guys love hauls. And if you love the style of haul plus review, give me a thumbs up. And I will definitely do that in the future instead of just like, hey, I bought this. But hey, I bought this. I've been using it. And here's my thoughts. Uh, I, I like that. But if you guys don't like that, I won't do it that way. But if you do, let me know and I will do it that way. Um, okay, so I'm just going to start grabbing things. And like I said, when it looks like I've been talking too long, we'll just cut her off and um, move on to part two. So, first things first. I'm just going to... Uh, I should do this in order, shouldn't I? Let's do this. Okay, so I was at Ulta and I saw the new Garnier, I think it's new, Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. They have this one. Um, I also changed my settings on my camera um, as well, so let me know if that's if it's looking okay or whatever. I, I'm trying to tell on my little viewfinder, but I can't really tell. Um, anyways, this is the Micellar Cleansing Water. This is just the regular. They also have one that takes off waterproof mascara. I don't wear waterproof mascara, so I just bought the regular one. Um, no el oil, alcohol, or fragrance. All skin types. No rinse. No harsh rubbing. It removes makeup, cleanses, and refreshes. So this is supposed to be like Bioderma. Now, I do not have Bioderma. I've had samples of Bioderma. And I never really felt prompted to go out and buy the full size. I don't know. I just wasn't completely wowed by it. So now that there's this option, it was buy one, get one, 40% off at Ulta. So I bought two and I've been using this and I gotta tell you, I do really like it. I was really impressed actually with how well it took off mascara because most things, I mean, you gotta do some sort of rubbing or tugging. Um, so you're supposed to put it on like a cotton pad and then just let it sit on your eyes a little bit to kind of help break up the product and then you can rub it off. I've been using this, I used it a few times to take my all over makeup off but that's not my preferred method to wash my face I like to use like an like an oil like a cleansing oil to take everything off and then go in and wash my face this I've been using in the morning so after you've been sleeping you know you've had your skin products you know your evening products on all night and you wake up there's not really a need to like go in and scrub your face again because all you've been doing is sleeping so I've been using this in the morning on a cotton round to just kind of refresh my face and cleanse it and whatever and then go in with my moisturizer and I've been really liking that and the fact that these are like what was it like $8.99 for a regular price and then you got the second one 40% off I would say definitely worth trying definitely worth trying now I have not bought a full size of Bioderma I've had samples and stuff but I don't know if all this worked just the same as Bioderma and Bioderma is way more expensive I mean it's not expensive but it's like what three times the price maybe so I've been enjoying that um Okay, I'm just get this out of the way. I bought a Big Daddy of the Perry and Spirit from Beautylish. This is my favorite makeup uh, brush cleaner. This is no joke. You put it in a dish, you stick your brush in, and you pull your brush. I mean, I swirl it around, but if you're just doing like an, an eyeshadow brush that's not super dirty, I mean, it just takes it right off. Not only that, it smells amazing, and your brushes, after you wash them, aren't dehydrated. I think of it like shampoo and conditioner. Like, if you don't use conditioner, it can be kind of dry and brittle, and I don't know. Use conditioner, your hair's nice and smooth, and you can get a comb through it. Well, after I use this on my brushes, they're all, like, shiny, they smell good, they're soft, they're conditioned, and it works so well. There's no, like... It's not a product that exfoliates or anything like um, the Dr. Bronner's is what I've used in the past. But you throw this in a dish and you just stick it in, dry it off, and that's it. There's no rinsing, nothing. It's just a great, great product. Um, and this is the biggest size they sell. This is 32 ounces that I got off of Beautylish. It is $30, but a little goes a long way. And think of it as an investment in your brushes. So you spend all this money on brushes, but then if you use 
a cleanser that doesn't, I don't know. I've used baby shampoo, I've used Dr. Bronner's, I've used um, the, the cleansing solid from Beauty Blend. I've used a lot of things. I've actually tried probably five or six things and this is my favorite. So I feel like if you're going to spend the money on the brush, you might as well spend the money on the product to clean the brush kind of thing. So there's that. Um, so that's kind of the not as interesting stuff. <laughs> I have lots of fun things, but I'm just like overwhelmed. Let's talk about this. So I got a sample of some perfumes in the mail and I had sprayed this on and I loved it. Um, I put it in my purse to bring with me because I like to have little perfumes in my purse to like, you know, freshen up and whatever. Um, and I went to, to open up and spray the sample on me and it was gone. And my son walked up to me and I'm like, oh, you smell wonderful. What were you doing? Oh, spraying perfume. Yeah, you were. You sprayed the whole sample. But I only had to wear this once to know that I wanted to buy the full size. Um, so after I smelled this and I put it on me, I had gone on to Sephora to read what the notes were in this. And there are some real similar notes to my all-time favorite perfume, which is Burberry London. So that's why I knew immediately. I'm like, oh, well, that's why I love this so much. Um, this is the Tory Burch. Uh, hmm. It's got the blue cap and it says Jolie Fleur Blue. This, I would say, is a lighter more a little bit more floral softer version of the Burberry London the Burberry London I absolutely love I wear it day to night but that if I were to compare the two this would be more daytime appropriate I just wanted something kind of light and fresh and florally but yet there's some deeper notes in this the dry down is really beautiful on this and so I believe it has sandalwood I'll I'll, I'll leave the notes right here <laughs> so you can see what's in here but the bottle is just beautiful just absolutely beautiful. So I went out and purchased this for myself because I don't have anything that's like this. Most of my perfumes are a lot richer, deeper, stronger types of scents because that's what I like. But this is a departure, but it's a departure in a not too florally way because I can't, I can't do too florally or too, I don't know, some things like I smell it and like instantly get a headache. So that is not, that is like a beautiful way to do florals, I think. Um, okay, one last thing. So it is dry where we live, and I know I say that all the time, but the air is dry, there's no humidity, it is cooler out, um, it's actually been up and down, warm, cool, warm, cool, and, sorry, I washed my hair last night, but you know when you put, like, night cream on, and then your bangs sit on it, and I woke up and my bangs were, like, straight up, I'm like, oh my word, I have to film today, how am I gonna fix this? Anyway, so if they look greasy, that's why. Anyways, um, my husband, <laughs> since he's been home, he's, like, like so dry and he doesn't like it and I'm like I have tons of lotion and all that stuff but I wanted to find a product and I've had samples of this in the past and loved it but just never wanted to splurge on myself but since he wanted something I'm like well okay if you want it I'll go out and buy it um so I wanted to find some sort of shower um cleanser that was also going to be very hydrating so I went to L'Occitane and I picked up the um Let's see, it's the Cleansing and Softening Shower Oil um, with Almond Oil. It smells so divine. Now, you can buy, I, I don't know if I want to open this here. You can buy a larger size than this, and it comes with, a, like, a pump. Um, so I thought I would try this out, and if he really likes it, then I would go back during the um, spring VIB sale that's coming up in April or so and buy the big one, because then you can get it at a discount. But I thought I would at least try this. This is 8.4 fluid ounces. It smells amazing. It just feels so good on your skin. It's very softening. It doesn't leave an oily residue where you go to put your clothes on and everything's gonna get greasy. It's not like that. It's just a very beautiful, hydrating um, oil. And I personally like to cleanse with like, my face with oils and stuff. I just feel like it's, it's not stripping and I don't feel tight and dry like I do typically after getting out of the shower. So, oh, it's just a beautiful, it is, this would make a good gift because it's very luxurious and it is kind of spendy, but it's, it's a, it's a beautiful way to give a luxurious gift because everyone's got a shower, you know, and why not shower and feel, I don't know, there's just something special about feeling clean, you know, when you've been dirty or you've been sick or you, you know, just, you take a shower, you just feel like human again, you know, so this is, I don't know, I think a beautiful gift. Um, okay, let's get into the makeup because mama's got a lot. Um, actually, one last thing that's not makeup. Quickly, I bought, I've been masking once a week. Um, I've been making a point to do it once a week and I have noticed a difference in my skin, uh, being hydrated, more plumped up, things just, my makeup goes on smoother, everything just looks so much better when your skin is hydrated, exfoliated, doesn't have dry patches, all that kind of thing. So I bought two of these. I already used one because I wanted to make sure to get my full opinion on it. It's a beautiful mask. This is the Bosha. Sabuki oil, which you can buy their Sabuki, or however you say that, in a full size. Um, 
just by itself. The Deep Hydration Hydrodel Mask. It's actually two parts, so there's like a top and a bottom. It's pink and it's it's this really hydrating gel mask. Not a paper mask, but a gel mask. Um, it says replenishes, softens, deeply hydrates. I agree to all of that. It's just a nice mask. You can get these at Sephora. That sounded like I was some sort of an ad. <laughs> all right, so I have been on an eyeshadow. Let me just talk, get all my eye stuff here. I've been on this eyeshadow collecting rampage. I don't know what happened to me. I just finally decided to, after watching tons of reviews and swatching them a million times, I have three palettes here. I've been eyeing up since they came out. I need to take a drink. I'm super thirsty. Three palettes here. Um, the first one is the Natural Matte Palette. I think this is my favorite one out of the Too Faced little palettes that they make. Um, the packaging is beautiful. It's so cute. The shadows are perfection. Just a great matte palette. I've used all the shades. I'm really pleased with this palette. I love how it performs. It stays on nicely. They blend nicely. Um, today I'm wearing Honey Butter in Chocolate Cookie in my crease. And it's just a great everyday color. You have your matte cream shades. You have like this beautiful soft pinky shade. A nude shade that actually creates a really nice shadow in your eye. Like if you don't want to look like you're wearing makeup, but you want to have definition, this is that a shade that's going to do it for you. Some nice deeper shades. It, these are a little bit cooler in tone, but I like that. You know, I like that. And then um, Strapless. I just love that shade. Love it. I think this is a great palette. Totally worth the money, been loving it. Um, uh, I hate when my hair doesn't look on point. How come so many people that I watch, <laughs> like everything is always on point, how, 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 how? <laughs> like what is the secret? Do you have like someone that fixes your hair in between takes or what? Um, I don't know, anyways, the next palette I've been eyeing up and I've seen so many people say this was in their 2015 beauty favorites. So I'm like, you know what? <sighs> that many people love it, it's gotta be good. The Shade and Light Kat Von D Eye Palette. I haven't played with this one as much as the other, uh, is this one. And then the other one I'm going to show you just because I gravitate more towards those two. This is also a beautiful palette. I used these shades the other day, just these strictly, these four. And it created such a beautiful sunset warm eye. They're all matte. You have your warm section, your nude, what is this, the cool section? Yeah, the cool section and the neutral section. I never noticed that before, but as you can see, there's it's essentially like four quads. So if you don't, I mean, I usually go all over the place, but if you wanted to just stick with things that are coordinated because you're not super creative or you don't feel like being creative, they've done it for you. You know Kat Von D shades, super smooth. They do blend really well. So that means if you are a person who likes to blend a lot, you could blend it into a giant mess. I am one of those people. Um, just because I've, I've watched myself back or I've looked at old pictures and I'm like, my eyeshadow was a hot mess. Not that it's better now, but now I'd rather spend more time blending than not. So you do have to be careful with these because they blend really nicely for you, um, which is great. And the last one, I'm wearing this one today as well, is the Tartlet in Bloom. I just finally decided to take the plunge because when I first saw the Instagram post that they were even going to come out with this, I was like, oh, I love those colors. And you know what? I... I just kept justifying the fact that I didn't need it because, oh, you can find those shades elsewhere and, and you probably have those similar shades and I probably do, but they're not all in one palette and I can't just grab it and create the look without having to, you know, go all over the place. Yeah, <sighs> they're just beautiful. I'm wearing um, Funny Girl, which is this champagne shade all over my lid, these two colors in my crease, and just a smidgen of firecracker on my outer Odor be here. I just, I love the gold packaging. I love everything about this. I do enjoy Tarte's eyeshadows. Um, I think it's a great palette. I think that, I don't know, I really like it. I love that it's not all matte like the other one. It has some of those shimmery shades because that way if you don't want an all matte look, you can still just grab this palette and create something. Sometimes you want an all matte look, then you got to reach for maybe two palettes because one palette doesn't have the shimmer, you know, the all the colors in it that you need or whatever. So, I don't know, I really like it, and I'm really pleased that I bought it. I just, I'm really happy with all three of these palettes. I think all of them are great palettes to own in your collection. So if you're eyeing any of them up, they have my stamp of approval, that's for sure. Okay, and then I placed in order with Beautylish, well, part of that same order, 
some things from Inglot. So my all-time favorite eyeshadow from Inglot, my son destroyed. And so I finally bought a new one uh, to replace it because this, ugh. I don't know about you, but I really enjoy Inglot's eyeshadows. And since I did that eyeshadow junkie tag, was that the one where I talked about the Inglot eyeshadows? I don't know. I've just been smitten with them. I've just been reaching for mine a lot. And I've been debating and placing an order to fill in some gaps of some shades I don't have. Ugh, they do package it really nice. It come, and because you order it from Beautylish, it comes in this box wrapped in bubble wrap within this container. Like, I don't know, Beautylish has going on. I'm going to need to get some scissors here. Um, anyways, I really enjoy these Inglot shadows. And I, particularly these pearl shades. This is number 399, and it's a pearl. They're beautiful. They, I mean, this color all over the lid is the perfect icy lavender shade. It's just, and when you get this on your lid, it just makes my eyes pop. It's just stunning. So creamy, glides on, stays on nice. Really pleased with the um, Inglot eyeshadows, which is why I have a few in my cart. If there's any that you have that you think I need, um, let me know down below. Um, and then I've never tried Inglot's pigments. And I, if, if you've never looked at Inglot's pigments or just Google like the swatches, then you're going to want to place an order because they are beautiful. And I'm really happy with the shades that I bought. I wore this one the other day. This is number 35. They come in a jar like this and you get uh, two grams. How much is a MAC pigment? You get two grams with Inglot and where are you? It does, let's see, Makeup Art Cosmetics. It doesn't say? What the heck? Well, let me just grab one of Makeup Geeks. Makeup Geeks, you get one. Oh, goodness, you get 1.4. These are 16. I think these are 12. So it's right in there with, I mean, you get a lot of product for your money. So this is number 35. Maybe I could attempt to swatch it. It's purple. Oh, and they're smooth. Okay, so they're not, they look chunky in here. But once you dip your brush in here and put it on, it is so pigmented. It goes on so nice. I thought it was going to be messy, but it's not. Let's see, there's 35. It's like a purple to gold. Isn't that stunning? Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Okay, so now I'm going to attempt to swatch the other ones here. The other one I got, I haven't used this one yet, is number 30. I thought this, you know what, I thought it might be a great one to layer. First of all, second of all, I just thought it was just a great staple color, and it's. I thought at first it might be like Max Vanilla, but it's not. It's got some more golden tones to it. Oh no, it's not like Vanilla at all. It's way better. Look. Oh my gosh, that laid over that even. I can't. That is so pretty. Okay, and my time's gonna run out. Okay. And then the next one I got here is number 22. And this one was the first one that caught my eye. They do come with a little piece of tape on here to keep the lid on. I like the jars. I think it's really cute. Number 22. I can't even with this one. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me get a little swatch here for you. This one reminds me of like... The type of tones in Laura Mercier's Amethyst or her One Shadow. It's like a purple. I mean, aren't those just stunning? So pleased with these. Really, really happy with these. And they perform really well too. So let me just grab two more things and then we'll move on to part two because I know some of you don't like to watch a super long video at all in one time and others don't mind but at least then you can just go into the next video if you need to or whatever. I try to accommodate you know everyone. I can't always do it that way but I try to. Okay two other things. So the Anastasia Brow Definer came out and um I wanted to try it because I've heard nothing but good things about this. Jaclyn Hill raved about it. Really haven't heard any too, too many negative reviews on it, so I wanted to try it. I picked mine up in the shade Chocolate. I am wearing it today. I did, I have my hair, I had my hair done. So, um, my brow products, I'm kind of like playing with the colors and stuff right now, but Chocolate seems to still work pretty well for me, even though 
before I used chocolate um, and it worked. And now I'm thinking I might need to actually add a little bit of warmth to them so they're not so ashy, but that's just, you know, personal preference. Uh, but anyways, the brow definer. So it comes with, this is what it looks like. It's angled on this end. This is very pigmented, okay? And it is angled, so it is really nice to just kind of get up under there, draw your arch, and then you can kind of softly fill in. I like this. Um, I love the pomade. I love the brow wiz, and I do like this too. I feel like her brow products are some of my absolute favorite I've ever tried. The ease of use with this is awesome. I feel like whether you have a lot of brows or no brows, this is going to work for you. The pomade is for someone who doesn't have a lot of brows. If you have a lot of brows, do not use that. You, you will hate it. It's going to be way too much for you. The brow wiz is great to shape, define, fill in for, I think, anybody really too. It just You will go through it a lot quicker if you don't have a lot of brows because you're going to have to use more product. This is kind of like in between. It's super pig pigmented. Um, but you can still get the control to do the soft little strokes kind of thing to fill them in. I think this is kind of like a hybrid. I don't know if it was meant to be, but I feel like it's like the best of both worlds. Um, and then the spoolie I don't love as much as um, the Brow Wiz one because it's bigger. A um, lot bigger. Let me show you here. Compared to this one. This one's super corroded, but you know, it is, it's a lot larger. Um, I don't love it. I love it to start out to comb things because it's very coarse, but to really pull the product through, I prefer a smaller one like this just because I feel like I can get more control without it getting too much, you know. But I am really liking this. I definitely would recommend trying this if you if you are interested in, in a new pro or you want to try a new brow product. I think it's nice. I do like it. Um, okay, one last thing. Let's grab this. I'm wearing this today. This is the Sephora Rouge Gel Lip Liner. I believe these are new. Er, they're not like brand new like this week, but they're newer. And my Sephora, I had walked in and I seen these there and I saw the color selection and they had a really beautiful nude one, but I didn't, I don't really need a nude one. But this color looked like my perfect color and I am so happy with this. I think it is, sorry, I just kicked everything here. It is the most beautiful rosy wine everyday lip color i feel like you could fill your whole lips in with this and put a gloss over stunning um this is the shade number three rose wine very creamy incredibly creamy and pigmented actually um it comes with the sharpener on the end like this which isn't my favorite formula but at least you can sharpen it it's not one of those that it's sharp first and then it can never get sharpened again kind of thing. Um, I love this kind of formula in a lip pencil. It's kind of like, you know how I love the, the MAC Pro Longwear lip pencils? Not so much the pencil pencil versions of lip liners because they're drier and I feel like there's more tugging and I don't know, I just prefer this. I mean, it just, I'm not even doing pressure. It just glides. So if this is something, I mean, and they're only $12, I mean, they're great. Now I haven't like worn this all day and drank all day to see how it lasts, but I think it lasts nicely. I'm wearing it today. Um, this is a beautiful shade Rose Wine. I should probably do a darker swatch for you. Oh, it's stunning. It's just a perfect rosy wine shade. Um, pink, mauve, just perfect, perfection. So I would definitely recommend checking these out. Okay, so I think I'm going to cut it off here and move on to part two. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in a bit.